It's just as I thought. Jill, does this ether not feel somehow... Familiar, yes. I sensed it the moment we arrived, though I wasn't sure until now. You can feel it too, can't you, Clive? She's calling us. You don't mean... the witch? I do. Though she was more than that. Much more. She was a dominant. A dominant who once commanded the icon that now resides in both me and Clive. Of course. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't see it. Who else would have the power to freeze time? None other than Shiva herself. But for her ether to endure after all these years, it, it's almost as if... As if she shared it with another, just as Torgal shared in my eyes.
better cut this short. Let's destroy it and put an end to this. Wait. The spell must be weakened, not undone. Uh, isn't that what we came here for? Did you ever stop to wonder what might happen to the tidal surge if I unraveled the whole spell at once? I didn't think so. This is going to require a bit more. Finesse. From wind and light, water and earth, let the silent pall of my ice. There's too much ether. Let me help. Let us help. Did it work? I think so. The thread connecting this place to the child should be broken. Meaning Walyas should finally be... Free once more. Leviathan. Our most profaned fragment. Its divinity defiled by the hand of man. Its spirit shackled by his hubris till Muthos came bringing release now let the sins of man be redeemed by the hand of the servant of God
What is? What's going on? Precisely what we feared. Leviathan is out of control. No. Don't despair. This isn't over yet. You should head back to the village. And get everyone to higher ground. As for the rest... The rest... <laughs>